Steve Constantine from HEB, also Chef Dave Fralick here assistant. this morning. I'm his <laughs> lovely, He's my sous lovely chef assistant. Today. I got the beads. So. I'm ready to do this deal. Cooking awesome. up some gumbo. By the way, today, what a great day for gumbo. Oh, Just perfect. a rainy, cold right? day if you get this going. Today. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay. So Fat Tuesday, guys, is two weeks away, and basically uh, we have a brand new line of products at HEB that we're going to be introducing starting tomorrow. Uh, the brand is called Bayou Brothers. Mm -hmm. You may be familiar with the Cookwell & Company, which is a locally made Austin brand. They just have a, a brand new line that came out recently at the Cooking Connection called Bayou Brothers. So it's a line extension of all Cajun Creole inspired uh, authentic products. Great, Super. perfect timing for yes. those products. Exactly. Should I get going with this? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So okay. What so he's so ready to cook. He's yeah. ready, ready to cook. cook. Start with chicken, the chicken going in. So chicken basically, chicken for, in. for our Maybe Bayou Brothers in. authentic gumbo, basically, it's just a couple steps. Okay. We've got some chicken thighs chicken. that I pre diced up, and we're yeah. throwing it all in the pot, just okay. the whole right. thing. Okay. And I always use one package of chicken thighs, and it depends on you know the size of the package or how many people you're you're feeding. Okay. Um, but oh, basically, how much of this? About two pounds like of chicken. Whole, whole deal. Then the whole jar. So two pounds of chicken. Whole jar. Whole jar. Yep. Wow. There you go. Good job, Chef Dave. Don't Man, forget to hit the jar. Yeah, hit the jar. Hit the jar. Yeah. That's get it pretty all satisfying. In I don't know there. if I've ever put a whole jar of anything in a <laughs> yeah. pot before. This is going to be good. Yeah. Right. So, this is how easy this gumbo is. So, normally, gumbo guys takes hours yes. to make. Uh -huh. You know, just sure making can. the roux takes like 10, mm -hmm. 15 minutes to make the roux properly. Then you got to chop up all the veggies and add everything else. You got to mm -hmm. add filet, okra, onions, peppers, celery, uh, then the meats as well. This, but this is already done for it's you. It's all done for you. We so, like that. Keeping it simple. So you add in your meat of choice. I'm um, mm -hmm. starting with chicken for today, mm -hmm. and then also we're going to add in the sausage later. later. Okay, yeah, because um, you got to cook that chicken yeah. first. Exactly. The chicken's raw, so you want to just let it cook for a little bit. Um, so Dave is going to stir it. And, stir uh, and after stir. About, we'll work out here. Exactly. After about Doing four, a good job, Dave. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Thank you. We will. <laughs> so where did you learn French? Oh, uh, my mom. She yeah. speaks French fluently. Very cool. Shout out. To my mom. Um, so I took up, it. Mom? I took lessons. You know, I mean, I took French high school, cool. college. Cool. Good stuff. Still learning though. Didn't pick up that uh, natural ability. The from well, you gotta, you gotta Mama practice P. that. It's got to be so cool now with all these HEB products too. Like every season, every big event, it seems like HEB is going to tweak it and put a little something out for you. Exactly. You got to always be excited exactly. about what's we're, coming up. Next. We're always up yeah. in our game, looking yeah. for new ways to help you guys out. It makes it uh, so much easier. Exactly. Because uh, so many people won't attempt something like this. Like yeah. you said, if you have to take all the steps, yeah. kind of gives you something to look forward to. You know, because mm -hmm. we're celebrating Mardi Gras, mm -hmm. so you know to go with that whole yeah. celebration. Why not have an easy dish? Well, and dishes like this are it. just so good for. For winter, mm -hmm. I mean, yes. for the cold weather. Not that I wouldn't go after some but of this in July, though, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. Not according to that guy. No, over there. not today. Yeah. No, and not according to Punxsutawney Phil. No. So basically, while you're cooking the chicken, okay. Okay. Uh, when the chicken's almost done, what we're okay. going to do is we're going to add in the beef sausage, okay. and then from there, uh, just continue to stir and cook. Okay. You don't need to add any other liquid or anything because again, this is your gumbo base, mm -hmm. and then you're going to extract a little bit of the juices, the fat, extra moisture from the sausage oh, as yeah. well as the raw chicken. Yeah. yeah. So so that's going to cook and basically you're going to get some extra moisture from right, that. This is probably one of those dishes that if you if you get a little bit left over, it's probably that much better the day after yes. the day after that. Exactly. Yeah. So from I, I was just going to say I love gumbo too because you can kind of switch up what proteins yes, you exactly. use in there. You can yeah. do chicken and sausage. I mean, I'd say those is, are pretty common. It's but. pretty common. If you want to do classic gumbo, you can do shrimp, crab, crawfish, you know, just any variation. Mm -hmm. So to each his own. And you did bring some pretty nice shrimp. Yes. Bread. Thank you. And then for the gumbo that I made today, we put the gumbo in the bowl and then a little bit of rice, like a dollop of rice on top. Mm, you can yeah. put some shrimp on top of that and a little green onion for color and garnish and you've got a beautiful dish. And in yeah. theory, instead of spending, you know, five to eight hours making your gumbo, you can make this in seriously like 20, 30 minutes max. Oh, wow. that's good. Um, yeah. And then the cool thing is, again, so Mardi Gras is right around the corner. So to help introduce the Bayou Brothers lineup of products, at HEB and at mm -hmm. the Cooking Connection, we've got a buy one, get one free. So when you buy one of the uh, jars of gumbo, or there's also a Cajun Creole sauce, so when you buy one of the big jars of the Bayou Brother products, you get one of the small ones for free. Cool. And there's different flavors like barbecue shrimp mix. There's a banana oh. foster oh. sauce. Oh, there's a remoulade. There's a Cajun mustard sauce, which is really yes. good. And then there's also a Cajun pepper jelly. So what, you've got a lot show? of... Wow, all these sound delicious. Yeah. And which of all of those products, which would you say got had the most heat to it? 
The so most, those are like the spiciest. The most sweet would definitely be the Cajun pepper jelly. Cajun this pepper one. Jelly, okay. Yeah, that one's kind of a little sweet and spicy combination. Oh. Good for appetizers. If you're looking for a great dessert one, the Bananas Foster is mm. awesome. Yeah, I bet. Uh, you basically just saute and sear bananas and then add the banana foster sauce. And again, you're skipping a lot of steps because you don't have to add in the rum, the brown right. sugar, and then also the vanilla. You. It's all right there. I enjoy this. And to tell you what, from now on, when I cook at home in the kitchen, I'll put a suit on. Too. It's a beat. It yeah. <laughs> beats. A suit I mean, and a beat. You know, there you no go. reason why you can't class up the kitchen a little bit. <laughs> okay. you, Zach's coming on go. in. Come on you know in. What? He's hey, ready he's for the gumbo. Not bad for him. How's, how's he not doing? Bad he, not bad. Him. We got a good mixture going. Here, I'll give you another one. Another there, one? There you go. <laughs> he earned those beats. He earned those beats. So look what Mardi Gras does to us, guys. We always have a you know nice big party going on. Party atmosphere going on. So You're Dave, helping with that one. Thank Steve. you. I appreciate you. You got this. I'm out of here. I'm, All right. Steve, I'm going to Louisiana. <laughs> awesome job. <laughs> we appreciate it, Steve Constantine. Now we need some bowls, so, Dave. Now on. we need bowls. I did not make any bowls. We'll, spoons. We'll figure it out. Yeah.